Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> In this video, we're gonna bring you along with us and show you what we do throughout the week. plan for today I am working on my website I just put up my new recipe for my vegetable barley soup which I'll put a little picture up here so you can see what it looks like it's delicious oh and I'll, I'll link it down below too if you want to check it out um, Travis is packing up a package right now of something he sold on eBay and I think he's gonna take some pictures and do some uh, more listings today of things that we're gonna sell on eBay um, I think he has to go to Target to pick up our Halloween candy and I don't know what else we're gonna do today but First, we're gonna go make some breakfast. So we got two packages going out today. So Monday morning, two packages. I feel pretty good about it. All right, now let's go make some breakfast. All right, what's for breakfast? Oatmeal. <laughs> and we gotta take our vitamins too. All right, fine. Cheers. So these are the Mary Ruth vitamins that uh, we showed you in our last, what video was that, babe? I wanna say it was like cooking with us video. I don't know, but we'll link to that if you wanna see it. But anyways. Um, these are the Mary Ruth vitamins, and I've been really happy with them. I think they taste good. It's called raspberry flavor, and it doesn't really taste like raspberry either. Does it taste like orange? Kind of. kind of citrusy. Well, it's an orange color. It's nice not having to swallow a pill, or at least all of these pills, you know, or another multivitamin, so I like it. So I mashed two pretty ripe bananas, and I added two cups of unsweetened almond milk um, to this pan, and I'm going to bring this to a simmer, and then I'm going to add the oats. So once the milk starts boiling, then I add one cup of old-fashioned oats. We're gonna stir that in and reduce the heat. Then I like to add one tablespoon of chia seeds. Stir those in so they don't clump up. And one tablespoon of cacao powder. And then I also add about a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So lastly, we're gonna stir in two tablespoons of ground flax. And it's already getting pretty thick as you can see by the consistency, but this is gonna make it the perfect texture. And here is our breakfast. So this is like chocolate oatmeal with chia seeds, uh, ground flax seeds, and I topped it with frozen blueberries. You see how they're starting to melt? The so It makes like a syrupy blueberry sauce. It's so delicious. And I put some pumpkin seeds and walnuts, and Travis likes a drizzle of uh, date syrup on top. And it's funny because he doesn't really love oatmeal um, like I do. So it's the same amount of oatmeal. I just split the amount in half, but I put mine in a bigger bowl so I can make the, like spread the toppings out. It just looks prettier to me. But he always wants a little bowl because he thinks he's getting less oatmeal, but it's really the same amount. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're going to eat for breakfast today. So how was your breakfast, babe? How's the oatmeal? I mean, oatmeal's not my favorite, but it was good. It was like chocolate oatmeal. Do yeah. you always make chocolate oatmeal? I always put cacao powder in there. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, I mean, it was good. I liked it. I, I like to do. You know, when it's 95 degrees out. It, but it's like cold, or it's not cold today, but it's gonna be cold on Thursday, but it's like kind of like rainy and like dreary yeah. out. So it's perfect oatmeal weather. And today I made it with almond milk instead of water. So it'll be a little creamier for you. Did you even notice a difference? I can't tell. Anyways, so what are you planning on doing next? Next, I'm gonna go to Target because we ordered some Halloween candy. So I'm gonna go pick we'll that up. We'll show you the candy we got when you get home. Yeah, got some good stuff. And I'm gonna go over to my mom's house, drop off a camera, cause she's gonna be starting her own Etsy account to sell some succulents. She has a oh, her uh, succulents are so yeah. pretty. Maybe maybe if I go over there and, and she lets me show you all the succulents she has, it's amazing. I'll show you guys. And tell them what just happened. Well, whenever <laughs> Stacy hears that cha ching from eBay, uh, that we means get, something sold. We got really excited. Then Stacy was like, "Ooh!" And I was like, "What is it?" She's like, "Well, something sold for." you know, for a lot of money. And it was one of these four Varsky crystals <laughs> that we have right here. So we got these figurines at an estate sale. How many are there? Seven or eight? There's like nine, I think. Nine, okay. But we so, sold this whale one. Yeah. So we spent like $200 on all of these figurines and Travis listed them on eBay. And this is the first one. Are all of them listed or just a couple? No, we only listed a couple so, so far. So only a couple are listed, but this is the first one to sell. And <laughs> we're really excited that it sold, but I think Travis is a little worried about how to ship it. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I mean, we have like foam and we have packing peanuts and we have bubble wrap. We have all the things, but I just, you know, these are like fragile things. So I got to like pack it really, really good because I don't want anything to happen to it. I know, but it's so great because we spent like $200 on right. the figurines yeah. and you sold this one for a little bit over 100 so... So we're almost there with Woo! one figure. So hopefully <laughs> we sell great. one more and then the other seven that we bought... Profit. I like free. Yeah. yeah. 
So we're not gonna ship this out today because we need to like do a really good job packing it, but uh, we just wanted to show you what just sold. So I needed to order some more organic um, oregano oil. Uh, it's an essential oil that I like to get from plant therapy, but I saw that they have their seasonal blends out and I, I think I'm definitely gonna get the pumpkin pie, but I'm trying to decide if, <laughs> I don't know. They have a whole like a, a six pack where you can get the whole fall set for $60 or then there's two down here or you can get them individually but i don't know do i need all of them for 60 or should i just get the one pumpkin pie for 10 or i don't know i kind of want this fireside flannel but then also the harvest moon sounds really good i don't know what do you guys think should i get all of them because then it's you get a better deal but do i really need all of them i don't know Maybe I should just get these two. All right, so I just got to mom's house. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this camera off. Hopefully she's home so I can go and show you all the succulents that she has because they're amazing. You guys are gonna love it. And by the way, look at this hair, man. I mean, it's a little long. Look at this beard. I need I need to get cleaned up a little bit. Looking a little rough, Travis. Looking a little rough. You need to get this straightened up. Here's a couple of my mom's arrangements. She has these coming out of a pumpkin. They look awesome. So here's a quick look at some of my mom's succulents. She has so many, they're so beautiful. I wish I knew all the names of them, but I'm not that familiar with succulents yet. I think these ones down here are called like pearls or something like that, but they're really pretty. plants almost. She has this beautiful arrangement right here. These ones are really pretty on the ends it almost looks like a cotton candy that one's really pretty this one too i think they're the same kind a couple more real quick before i head out of here this one looks really cool i'm not sure what this is called but it has like these looks like i don't know like a dragon or something coming out of there that's pretty cool if you guys know what any of these succulents are called leave me a comment down below i'm curious to know i'm sure my mom's told me before but i just don't remember at the moment here's my mom's bird mango she's so cute i know you're looking at me all right, just left mom's house. Now I'm at Target. I'm gonna try this Target app order pickup thing where they're gonna come bring what I ordered to the car. So we'll see how that goes. But let me go ahead and get that started and let's see what happens. So I guess when you get here, they give you a verification code and a team member will come and verify that and then put your items in your trunk. All right, so they're here. Hey, thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, so that was really easy. She just came up to the window, I showed her my code put it in the back of the trunk, that was it. And it was really fast. I didn't even like give them a heads up that I was coming. I just pulled into the parking slot that's designated for order pickup and I just said I was here and they came out within 30 seconds. So really convenient feature. All right, Target, I like that. So for lunch today, we're having some spicy Thai noodles. So I cooked up five packages of, ram of brown rice ramen noodles, a frozen package of broccoli and artichoke hearts. And then I made our sauce over here. So let's pour that in. I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm gonna garnish it with some green onions. Travis will probably want some more hot sauce and uh, sesame seeds. And that's what we're gonna eat for lunch today. I love this pasta, it's so good. It is so good. So I just plated our lunch. For lunch today we're having spicy Thai noodles with brown rice ramen noodles, um, frozen broccoli that I roasted in the oven with some artichokes and I topped it with some green onions and sesame seeds. And Travis put a little bit more hot sauce on his because he likes it extra spicy. And I put too many sesame seeds on mine. <laughs> but it's gonna be really good. We really love the sauce because it's like a spicy peanut butter sauce. It's delicious and it's really easy to make. So Travis just got back from Target. Yeah. And this is what we ordered in our Target pickup order. They had a really good sale last week. Uh, it was 40% off bags that were, was it specific bags or just uh -huh. bags that were $10 or $15.99 and yeah. over? So usually like 40 to 60 Like the big ounces. bags. Yeah. yeah. So we got one bag of regular candy and then we got a bag of the Yum Earth Organic Vegan Candy, which this is a new item. They did not have this last year, or we probably would have gotten it last year. Yeah. Um, the only thing is this is only 19 ounces for, 
what was it fifteen ninety nine? Yeah, and, and then this is, is fifteen ninety nine for seventy. Yeah, ounces? it's like seventy ounces. Yeah. So lot. it's like I know all the kids on our street. Probably nobody ounces. on our street is vegan, so they won't care. So right. we got a mix. So I'm gonna order one of those little teal pumpkins to put the allergy friendly candy in, and then we'll have this for everyone else. So I, but I'm really happy that they have um, a vegan option in yeah. a mixed candy bag. That's really a nice um, choice because they have gummy fruits, lollipops. And giggles, which I think are supposed to be like Skittles. Okay. Yeah. Giggles so, and Skittles? All right. I think so. <laughs> That'd be cool. I just yeah. hope we get a lot of kids this year. I Hopefully we run out of all this stuff. I know. I don't want to like keep all of it, so we'll see what happens. No. I'm praying for a great Halloween this year. Hopefully we have some trick-or-treaters. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But we had to be prepared, so Always we got, got it. Always got to be prepared. Yeah. You never run out of candy. Right. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday. It's about three o'clock right now. Um, this morning, Travis and I went to the thrift store and we found some really cool stuff to uh, resell on eBay. Right now, Travis is taking pictures and uh, he's gonna list some stuff, but let me go over there and I'll show you. Say hi, babe. What's going on, my people? So this here's a couple of things that we got from the thrift store today. Travis uh, is lint rolling them, he steamed them, now he's gonna take some pictures and list it on eBay. Yep. So We got the spider jacket. This is such a good brand, in case you aren't aware of it. On the back it says spider too. Yeah, this was, and this was a really nice, is this like an under layer shirt? I don't know, but it looks really nice. Those are in great condition. Yeah, really nice. Um, and then we also got a couple pairs of shoes. Yeah, I got these like, sneakers. these Brooks running shoes. They're in, they're in pretty good condition. Yeah. And then we got these Nikes, Dual Fusion. I don't know what they're called, but the bottoms of them look really great too. Clean. So we picked those up. I think we paid what, like eight dollars for this pair of shoes. Yeah. And same for this, eight yeah. bucks. And what do you think we can uh, sell it for on eBay? I don't know. Like I'm hoping like 30, 40, 30 to maybe? forty. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's going to be over eight dollars. So. Yeah. Do you hear that rain? Dude, it's raining hard right now. Somebody get some pictures taken of this stuff. Get it listed and. We'll see what happens. If we sell them, we'll let you guys know. So what else are we planning on doing today, babe? I don't know. I'm planning on working on the website after this. And you're gonna go list this stuff? Yeah, so I'm gonna go back on the computer, list this stuff. Yeah. We got we got a pretty much a chill day today. Yeah. Nothing wild, nothing crazy. Well, there's and not really much you can do when it's pouring out. And the weather's crappy outside. You That's because that. tomorrow's gonna be so nice. Yeah, tomorrow we have a cold front coming First through. First one. And you know in Florida, it's wicked hot pretty much all year round, but there's like a cold front coming, so excited about that. Maybe have some hot cocoa tomorrow morning. Who knows? For dinner tonight, we're having burritos filled with these smoky beans. Um, this is the recipe from my website. It's actually called smoky chickpeas, but I don't have any chickpeas right now. I had these great northern beans already cooked and ready in the fridge. So we need to eat these up and they're going to be the perfect filling for our burritos tonight. So here's our bean burritos for dinner. Travis is going to put the kale chips on the side. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. That's our side dish. These are the uh, what, We brads. love these kale chips. Yeah, brads. We like the original flavor and naked. The naked I mean, we like all of them. The oh, garlic, the vampire one is really good too. Vampire yeah, killer. Those are really good. Yeah, but and the cheesy one. They're all good. Yeah, if you haven't had these yet, highly recommend. They're really good. And they make a great side dish. Quick side dish too. Yeah. So I can rip that open. Or for me because I love snacking, so it's a great. Snack, I'm like, yeah. what can I have for a snack? Because this is like, go get some kale chips. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'll get some. He okay. also likes apple chips. Apple for a snack or great. popcorn. Right, so or put some of those on there. That's good. Alright. Yum. Look great. There's still about half of the bag still left, but. We'll, we'll probably share a bag. Yeah, we'll probably share I'll eat the other half. half. But it looks great. <laughs> Can't wait to eat. It's I'm actually cold out. I'm scared to sit back in this hammock chair because I feel like I'm going to fall backwards. <laughs> All right, today is Wednesday. Good morning. And it's a little chilly outside. Travis opened the back door and he's like, cold. <laughs> it was <laughs> a little chilly. Said. This is so, where's my phone? Let me check the weather. What is the temperature right now? I think it's going to be What'd you guess? 68. It's 64. Oh. This is so cold for Florida in September. This never happens, I feel. Like, we usually don't get a cold front until the end of October. I got my hot cocoa here that Stacy made. Thank yeah. you so much. This hot cocoa, this is our favorite. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Do you like Travis's Mr. Cup? When we got married, I got a Mrs. and he got a Mr. Cup. They're so cute. Um, but this is our favorite hot cocoa. It's made with moringa powder. It's so good. It's so chocolatey. Mm. It's delicious. So good. I'll show you the box when we go back inside. Oh, I did it. I leaned good back. Job. I didn't fall over. <laughs> so Because I, I don't want to like spill the hot cocoa all over me. <laughs> I love these hammock chairs. They're great. We just got these a couple months ago from Costco. We, we used to have patio furniture back here, but um, this one 
what do you, I guess it like what rotted it out yeah the material so the last time Travis sat in one of the chairs he just went straight through it straight through it <laughs> so right now we only have a patio table and these hammock chairs which we got from Costco a few months ago and these things are awesome they're the best so I think a little bit later we're gonna go rollerblading yeah and we're gonna take you guys along with us because mm -hmm. it's just such great weather so it's like gotta get outside a little bit today Ooh. and it's not raining so that's great right we really got into rollerblading um, over the summer during quarantine because we would go in the afternoon when the park was empty yeah and it was just so nice to get out and we both have rollerbladed before Travis more than me but um, I don't know it's just so fun we just really got into it again Stacy likes rollerblading because she gets her heart rate up as yeah. much as when she runs yeah so she likes I that. find that to be really interesting because I've been I've been uh, wearing my watch to track my heart rate when we exercise and when I would run, we would run in the neighborhood, I, it would get up to like 180-ish. And then it would do the same thing when we were rollerblading, but it doesn't feel like you're getting that same so like, like out of breath feeling yeah. pounding. Yeah, so I really like that. I feel like it's low impact, but it's so fun. And the weather today is beautiful. Like we just have to get outside and go do something. So we're just gonna hang out this morning for a little bit outside and have our cocoa and then go to the park. All right, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. This is the hot cocoa that we were just drinking outside. I wanted to show you the box. It's called Moringa Hot Chocolate. And we usually make it with hot water, but I bet if you made it with like um, hot almond milk or coconut milk, it'd be super creamy. But it has a delicious flavor. It's really good. And I will link to this down below if you want to check it out. It is just so nice out today that we just could not go inside. So I know we said we were going to come back to you when we went rollerblading, but we decided to come outside and do a little bit of Halloween decorating yep. outside. Yep. And I brought my computer outside and I'm working on our grocery order in the front yard because it's just so breezy and nice. And Travis is stringing up lights. <laughs> okay, gotta get my lights going. Uh, we were listening to some Thriller. Yeah, that he likes great. to put his Halloween music on. And how cute is he? He put on his, this is one of his Halloween shirts that he wears to Disney. It's like a Halloween-ish because it's purple Hearts and green, shirt, yeah. Kingdom Hearts. So fun, I love it. You're doing a really good job with the lights, babe. <laughs> gotta make sure the lights are tight. Yeah, keep it tight, keep it right. Do you remember when um, you were first doing lights and they were like <laughs> hanging down, like big loops? Yeah. That was rough. That was a little rough. We've come so far. So we just came back inside. It's about 12 o'clock right now, it's lunchtime. We kind of just like skipped breakfast because we were just having such a good time outside this morning. Um, but Travis got a lot of the decorations done. But we're gonna have lunch now. So for lunch today, we're having my vegetable barley soup. And this recipe is on my website. I'll link to it down below. It's so delicious. It's loaded with vegetables and barley and it's so good on a cold day. And a couple slices, the last two slices of the loaf of um, bread that I made a few days ago. This recipe is also on my website. And this bread is so good. So after we finish eating lunch, we're gonna go get dressed and head to the park and go rollerblading and we'll see you there. So we just got to the park. Let me show you how Travis helps me get my skates on. <laughs> All right, Cinderella, give me your give me your little foot here. You got my shoe be right now. All right, come on. Slide it in there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gotta get your tongue, get your tongue up. Yep, thank you. Get your little tongue in there. You give it one little pull here. Two clicks. Feels good. Feels good. Yep. Here are two clicks. Park's a little bit busier today then. Uh, we were hoping. All right, how's that feel? Uh, it feels good. Feels good? Yeah. All right, let me get your other one. Okay. Two clicks. One, two. There you go. Thank you. How's that feel? Good. All right, we got Stacy going. Guys, you missed it. Why didn't I have the camera? Travis went like this. First time I've ever seen you almost fall. You I... almost fell. We just got to the park. It's a little bit busier than we expected it to be. I mean, I expected it to be a little bit busy. Are you going this way or that way? Okay. But there's, there's I don't know, a decent amount of people here. So far we haven't run into anybody, so it's good. The weather is beautiful. It's so nice that day. So I'm not surprised there's a lot of people there, but oh, we gotta walk her up ahead. But usually we come in the afternoon when it's really hot out and there is nobody here. It's just us, which is really nice. But it's a great day for skating, so I'm excited. Look at me go. Look at Stacy just killing it. We're coming up to a stop sign. Crossing. Clear. After we go through a stop sign, after Travis says it's clear, then I look and I say it's clear, and then I go. <laughs> Guess what we're coming up on? What? Last week when we went skating down here, there was a turtle in a little hole and he kept popping his head out and it had a little thing built around it to protect him. And I see it's still up, so I wonder if he's still there. We'll see. We're gonna bring little turtle friends here. Let's go look. All right, cruising up on his hole. Let's see if he's here. No, don't 
didn't see him. Oh man. He wasn't there. He's out exploring. Bummer. Let's see if I can catch up to her. Bring me back to the skating rink, man. I want to do the races or the thing. Get a free freezy pop if I win. Couple skate. Oh no, I forgot to turn on my workout. All right, we're coming back up on the turtle hole. You think he's there? No, he's probably hibernating. It's too cold for him. Nothing. Nothing. There goes Stacy. She missed the turn. I couldn't make the turn. Here she comes. Come on. There you go. Oh. Turn around. <laughs> Wrong way. There she goes. Come on, get it. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Success. If you guys haven't noticed, I can't use my brakes and I'm not good at turning. Arms out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna pass you, I'm not even moving. Get this good, ah! get this good bangs. On the side of the road, a pile of star fruit. Someone must have just like brought these here. Why would they do that? Do you like star fruit? I don't even, I, to be honest, I don't even know what they really taste like. They don't have like that strong of a flavor. It's kind of like a, a light pineapple -y, like Swedish kind of flavor, but it's not super strong. But right. I like, I do like the shape because when you slice it, it's in a star. It's cool. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Back to skating. What would you do without me? Could you stop or what? Or would, no, you, or would you be going into the street? I try to roll out in the grass because <laughs> you remember like the first time we came and I didn't know that that one hill went down pretty far. Yeah. And I went out of the park because I couldn't stop. <laughs> that was funny. And I was able to turn, so I went down the sidewalk. But there's a street right there. So I'm saying. The street. We don't want you going in the street, getting hit by a car there, Stace. I just can't use these brakes, man. They don't work. I'm trying to teach her how to turn and stop, but. She no. wants to get some elbow pads and knee pads just in case. For now, you work. That's my built-in break. We're done skating now. We went about 45 minutes and almost five miles. Pretty good. Take that. Yeah. There is a little bit more people here than normal. So probably could have gone a little bit longer because the weather's so nice, but it's getting too too crowded for us. Yeah. So now we're going to head home and I don't know. Maybe just hang out outside because it's so nice out. Guess who made his own cocoa this morning? This guy. I came out, or Travis came outside. I was already out here with, in my chair and I had my mug and he's like, where's my cocoa? I was like, well, I didn't feel like cocoa today. I just have some hot water in here. If it's cold out, you should have cocoa. <laughs> I would think. Not that I didn't I, know that was a requirement every time. <laughs> not that it's that cold out today. Yesterday was a little bit colder. Yeah, let but, me see what the temperature is. Yeah, check, temperature check. It says 68, but yesterday was 64 and it felt colder. Yeah. Four maybe, degrees can't make that much of a difference. I think there was a breeze too yesterday. There was a breeze, yeah. Anyways, happy Thursday. <laughs> Happy good Thursday. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're just sitting out back. How's your cocoa? It's good. This cocoa is like awesome. All right, so after we sit outside for a little bit, enjoy the morning, probably going to go back out, start working on my decorations a little bit more because today is October 1st. You got to finish the decorations. So I got to finish decorations because she always finishes the decorations. Lights on are on first. tonight. Yeah. Lights come on the first. <laughs> I'm so excited for so. that. It's gotta be complete. And you gotta put the spider web up today. And the big spider web. Yeah, <laughs> Stacy will get me on that ladder. Yeah. In that tree hanging the spider web. It's huge. And we also just had a grocery delivery dropped off at our front door from Whole Foods. So yep. we're not gonna do like a full grocery haul, but we'll show you like a couple things from the, the, the highlights. And it, yeah, the highlights and like an overview of everything laid out. So all right, we're gonna unpack the groceries so we can show you guys. So here is our grocery haul that we just got delivered from Whole Foods. I'm gonna go through a couple of the things. Uh, but not everything, but here's a quick overview of everything that we got. Um, I spent about $150 and this is everything that we got. So as you can see, I got a bunch of boxes of these Mary's Gone Crackers. The everything uh, flavor is my favorite. It tastes just like an everything bagel, but in crispy cracker form. And it is just delicious. And they're on sale this week for $3.59. So I got four of those. And then I haven't tried these other flavors, um, the jalapeno and Italian herb. So I got one of each of those and four of these because they're delicious. Uh, I got some sweet potatoes and a bunch of things to make um, sweet potato chili which that recipe is on my website. Um, so the sweet potatoes, diced 
uh, canned tomatoes, corn, bell peppers, onions. Those are all. That's all for the um, sweet potato chili. And I'm also planning on making some um, tomato soup. So I got some basil and some pasta just to keep in the freezer. This baking soda is what I use to clean our produce with some vinegar. Um, oh, and this is something new for us. Uh, well, we love this brand of plantain chips. They're delicious, um, but I haven't tried this spicy mango salsa before, and they're on sale this week, so I thought I'd give those a try. And I was also in the mood for some um, acorn squash hummus, so I got a fresh acorn squash to roast up. It makes a delicious hummus. Um, oh, and this Kite Hill yogurt. It, this is the Greek yogurt, uh, plain and unsweetened. This is our favorite substitute for sour cream, so I'm gonna use this as a topping for our sweet potato chili. And I also ordered some jalapenos to slice up, but I don't see those, so I wonder if those were out of stock or they just forgot them. I don't know. Um, we got a lot of green onions and cucumbers for our salads, tomatoes, fresh cilantro, avocado for avocado toast, and oh, I'm excited about these. I've had these before and they were, I remember them being delicious, but I haven't had them in a few years. They're uh, pumpkin spice waffles by Nature's Path. And they're just, they're, I remember them being delicious. So I'm excited to have these. I'll probably make these this morning, so I'll show you what they, what they look like. Um, then I got two packages, one of spring mix and one of baby kale to mix for our salads during the week. And some celery for soup and onions. I always like to have a lot of onions in the pantry. Bananas for our oatmeal and just a snack on. And oh, some bread to go with the soup that I'm making this week, probably with the tomato soup and some potatoes. So now that I've showed you the groceries that we got, let's go check on Travis and see how he's doing with the Halloween decorations. All right, let's see how Travis is doing. He's been out here for a while. How's it going? The web looks good. It's going good. Just trying to get ready to go for tonight. Today's the first. Got to get everything lit up tonight. So the, tell them about your web. Did you buy the web already made? Did you put the lights on? What'd you do to it? Yeah, so the web already comes like this with the nylon string. And then I bought, I think, six boxes of lights, and I just followed the pattern of the string, connected them, zip tied them all together, and it lights up at night. It looks awesome. So, so far, it's been holding three years strong. I haven't had any lights go out, so it's pretty great. It looks so cool, babe. I love the web. Good job. I wanted to show you some of the other decorations that Travis put up. This is one of my favorites. I love this spider web that hangs down, and it lights up at night. It's so cool. And then he put lights all around the house and on the columns and then these little tombstone like light up tombstones <laughs> well no not tombstones right i don't know they say r.i.p on them they light up at night and you can see the r.i.p very spooky very cool perfect for halloween all right travis just came in he was decorating outside and i just made some pumpkin waffles okay well stacy is going to give me free reign on this maple syrup <laughs> usually so, i like I drizzle it for idea. you and then give you the plate Stacy says, be good with it. No, I said, don't go crazy with it. Okay, that's good. Okay. Good job. All right. <laughs> I mean, I would have done a little bit more. So what kind of waffles are these? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, Pumpkin. spice. Pumpkin and, spice? Yeah, don't they, they smell, smell really, delicious? Yeah, they smell really good. You kind of zested it up here a little bit. I just added some uh, pumpkin seeds and walnuts. Mm. I was thinking about adding a diced pear on top too, but... They're really good. Didn't happen. <laughs> I like that. Is that yummy? Like, regular waffles don't really have a flavor. Yeah. But these ones are really good. It really puts you in that fall kind of spirit. Right? So I got pretty much everything up. I got these pumpkin steaks that kind of line the driveway. These are pretty sweet. Then I have my spider web that lights up that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. Then I have these little pumpkin steaks in the ground. And then I got a witch. She's smashed into the tree. It's pretty hilarious. So I buy the little kids trick or treat pumpkins and then I cut a section out of the back. So it kind of opens up and then I slide them around my light posts outside my house. And then when they light up at night, they look like jack-o'-lanterns. And then on the other side of the driveway, I have skeletons. So one side does pumpkins, one side does skeletons. And then when it gets dark outside, I'll show you guys what it looks like at night. All right, so here's the pumpkins all lit up, looking great. Here's the spider web. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks so good, babe. What do you think? I love it. Here's a spooky tree that I got. So spooky. I just noticed that my little skeleton guy's hands are backwards, so I'm gonna have to fix that tomorrow. I got this doormat here with the haunted house and the witch flying. We have this spider web. And then just like with Christmas lights, I put Halloween lights right here along the uh, edge of the house. And then I have these RIP little LED lights right here that kind of go on our porch area. And this is one of Stacy's favorite decorations. This is another light up spider web. 
check that out. It's pretty cool. And then over here is the jack-o'-lanterns that I was talking about earlier. And then right next to the front door, we have an open space where we like to set up our hay bales. Hopefully we can go, um, we go to like a neighborhood market and we pick them up. Hopefully we can check on Sunday and see if they have them in stock so we can decorate. On the other side of the driveway, we have these light up skeletons. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the decorations and we will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. So today is Thursday very busy day here. Um, Travis right now is outside in the garage. He's uh, helping my dad uh, pick up some furniture and then I think he's gonna work on organizing the garage today. I am inside cooking and prepping. I just took a tray of sweet potatoes out of the oven because I am shooting two recipes today for my website. I'm making a zesty quinoa salad and I'm taking pictures of the sweet potato lentil soup that we had for dinner last night which was delicious. So I'll link both of those below if you want to check them out. But um, I will try to check in with you later to show you what I'm making. So this is the first recipe that I made. It's a zesty quinoa salad. It has roasted sweet potatoes, black beans, kidney beans, uh, red bell peppers, corn, um, anything else? Oh, fresh cilantro and some red onion. And it's all tossed in a delicious lime and Dijon dressing. It's so, so good. And this is one of our favorite recipes to have for a quick lunch. I just wanted to show you the sweet potato chili. This is what we had for dinner last night. I'm taking some pictures of it today to put on the website, but it's so delicious. You can see the big chunks of sweet potatoes and black beans and kidney beans and red lentils. It's smoky and it's just really, really good. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. It is 6.48 a.m. right now. We are coming to you by the light of my cell phone because it is really dark outside, except you can see the harvest moon, which is really cool. Wasn't it pretty seen this morning? That was pretty cool. I saw on Facebook that they said you could see Mars next to it, but I didn't see Mars. I just saw the moon. But anyways, we are up this early because we're going to a community garage sale, and we're really excited for the sale because it's, it happens every year. Actually, I think they do it twice a year, but we've never gone before because it's um, a little bit away from us. Um, we tried to go a few years ago. We couldn't find it. We gave up and came home. I don't know why. This year, we're going to find it. We're going to find it this year. So it's supposed to be a really crazy garage sale. My aunt goes every year, and she says she shops from like 6 a.m. with her flashlight until 2 or 3 in the afternoon. So I'm, I don't know if it's going to be the same this year because of everything that's going on with COVID, but we'll see, and we're going to bring you along and show you hopefully all the cool stuff that we find. All right, we'll see you there. Three bucks? Five bucks? It's two me it's bad. That's two me. What do you need it for? Five bucks. All right, hundred eighty dollars. <laughs> hey, is that making up? Yeah. <laughs> How much is this comforter set? Make me an offer. Well, what are you thinking? I'm not thinking anything. Alright. What did you do three on these Lincoln logs? So here's a quick look at some of the things that we got. I got these PlayStation 3 controllers. I got these board games. I looked them up and they were going for a decent amount, which I was kind of surprised at. I never heard of Discover Hawaii. Uh, we got this Major League Baseball Edition, Monopoly. And then next we got this really cool Pirates of the Caribbean. That's the Flying Dutchman ship. Uh, it doesn't have all the pieces, but it was just a really cool piece. I was like, uh, let me go ahead and pick that up. She only wanted a dollar for it, so I felt like I couldn't go wrong with that. Then I found this pair of Maui Gyms. They're a little bit older. They have some wear to them, but she only wanted like $2, so I thought I'd take a shot at it. And then I got this Sony Media Converter. I'm not really sure what it does, but I was looking up comps and it went for a decent amount of money. And I think I got that for about $25. And then I got a pair of these roller blades. These were only $5 and they were in really great shape. And then we found this REI bag. It's like a five day bag, the guy said, for camping and hiking. So we picked that up, it was a couple of dollars. And then finally we got this Stony Brooks Town Lincoln Log set. The lady wanted $5. And I don't know, I think it's pretty cool and we'll see what we can do with it. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. It's about 3.30 right now. Um, Travis and I have already had quite a busy day today. We are both self-employed, so um, we had a little bit of work to do today. I was working on the website and Travis was doing some realtor stuff. And right now we just drove up to our local produce shop because um, every fall they start carrying hay bales, which we like to get a couple hay bales to put at, right next to our front door. And then I decorate it with some, well, actually, 
let me think here. So we start with Halloween decorations and then I take down the Halloween decorations after Halloween and add some more fall decorations and some like little gourds and I think I put a little turkey out there and a cornucopia so it's like um, Thanksgiving themed. So it's awesome because we can change out the decorations and then they'll last from October to the end of November. So um, that's what we're doing right now. We're picking up the hay bales and then we're gonna head home, set them up, and I'm gonna show you how I decorate them. There he is. And I only had three bales of straw, which is what we want left. I only oh. had three left. Really? Yeah, so I just got the last three. Oh, okay. Jeez, I guess we're late this year. Oh my God, look at all the pieces flying everywhere. So what's the difference between the hay and the straw? It's thinner. Huh, okay. I don't remember there ever being a choice before. Yeah, so if you guys ever um, decide to get hay bales for Halloween decorations, see that mess back there? <laughs> Make sure you line the back of your car with a big blanket or a towel or like a tarp or something that you can put the bales on top of because they make a mess. And then you can just pull the blanket out and dump it outside. I don't know if he's gonna be able to fit the third one in there. Jeez, that was a bit tight squeeze. Oh, good job. How do you like being the same height as me? Stacy's on, <laughs> Stacey's on a step right now, so that's pretty good. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Sweet. All okay. right. Anyways, we just got back from the our local produce stand. And Travis luckily got the last three hay bales or straw bales? Straw bales. Straw bales. They who, call them hay bales. Who knew there was a difference? But this year I they had know. two different kinds. They had hay bales and straw bales. And usually we get straw every year, so I didn't know there was a difference. And the lady's like, you want straw or hay? I'm like... Oh, she asked you? Yeah, she asked me. And I oh. was like, uh, I want the thicker. He's like, all right, then you want the straw. So there was the last three that they had, so we just scooped them up and grabbed them. That was so lucky. I know. I know. I guess we're a little late this year. Well, the guy said last year, he's like, once he sells out of the hay, he doesn't order more. So what he has is what he has. Oh, well. Got, we got lucky. lucky. Yeah. So we got him home, and let me show you the decorations that we have to decorate with. So here are all of the decorations. I have a faux floral arrangement, some signs, this adorable little scarecrow. Um, this is our Halloween wreath, and there's some other decorations down there, a little pumpkin, and then here's these little fake gourds and pumpkins and some garland, and I think there's a big ceramic pumpkin underneath this. Um, but here are the hay bales. Oh, and there's our um, pumpkin that we got from Costco a few years ago. He lights up and makes spooky sounds, it's really fun. But I like to set them up. I do two on the bottom and then one on top, so it has like a tiered effect, and it just looks more interesting when you have different layers, I think. So I'm gonna arrange these, and then I'm gonna start decorating, and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, I just finished setting up the hay bales or straw bales, whatever they are, with all of our Halloween and fall decorations. I think it looks so good. Um, okay, so let me let me go over some of the decorations. On the left here, I put the folk, the fake flower arrangement with the little happy Halloween pumpkin, and you can put a candle on this, so that looks really nice. Oh, I love um, at night. We also have one more pumpkin that lights up that we put out here, but when all the lights are on, it looks so spooky. It's so cool. And then usually we get a real pumpkin to put right here. So I left this space kind of open, but I just don't know if we're gonna go to Costco to get them because we haven't been shopping at the store. So I don't know, we'll see. We might get one, we might not, I don't know. But I put this little, some more fake flowers and this cute little wicker pumpkin basket. And then this is another, this is a fake pumpkin, but I just love how it's like fat and chunky on one side and then it's little on this side and I love this curly stem. I love a curly pumpkin stem, it's my favorite. So, love this pumpkin. I thought those looked nice to, next to each other. And that's gonna be on the top hay bale. And then I draped um, this really pretty piece of like fall garland. It has pumpkins and these little berries and fake leaves. I put that over the top and I draped it around the side here and I just tucked it in there. And then on the bottom left side, we have this little black cat silhouette which I think is so cool. And even though his little leg is broken, he got broke a few years ago out here, I don't know what happened to him, but I just taped him and put him back in there. 
and this kind of hides it a little piece of garland down there so he's still good <laughs> and we have another pumpkin down here and i got this sign last year at michael's it says autumn rules gather together carve a pumpkin sip apple cider go for a hayride jump on the leaves give thanks build a bonfire eat some mores bake lots of pies and count your blessings i just thought that was really cute and then we have our little scarecrow holding the sign up i also got him at michael's a few years ago he's held up pretty good see a little bit of sun damage on his sleeve here but overall it's pretty good he's got a few more years left in him and then I got another, um, this is a ceramic pumpkin actually. And uh, actually I was worried that I broke him when I put the box down cause I heard him like hit, he was on the bottom cause he's really heavy. And I heard him like chunk on the ground. I was like, oh God, but he's okay. He survived. I don't see any cracks. Yay. <laughs> and that is on the right side of the hay bale. And I just put a little tiny piece of garland on the bottom cause I just like how it looks with a little bit of leaves. And I think that's it. But it just looks so nice and fall inspired and festive and it looks so pretty at night when the lights are on i love it but i am gonna wrap up this weekly vlog i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us uh, all during this week it was really fun to show you a little bit of our day babe you want to come say goodbye yeah okay all right so we're gonna wrap this up thanks for hanging out with us this week wasn't it fun yeah showing was... them the whole our whole week yeah kind if, of. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this type of video please let us know in a comment down below yeah and as always thank you for watching um give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time bye, bye guys <laughs>